Hello YouTube, welcome back to another model aircraft review. Today I will be reviewing the Lufthansa Airways Airbus 83-300 by Gemini Jets and 1400 scale. Um, I'm also doing this review <clears throat> right after I woke up uh, for school. Um, still got an hour before I have to leave for school so I thought I might as well get a video out. So um, hope you guys enjoy it nonetheless. Let's go ahead and get started with the box. So this is a um, smaller Gemini Jets box for since it's it's a wide body aircraft, it gets a pretty small box. It's the same size as uh, the A320 box, which is interesting considering it's a much bigger aircraft. Um, but anyways, at the top we have the Gemini's logo slogan um, there, and then we have the picture of the aircraft in the middle. The Lufthansa logo, Airbus A330-300, the name of the aircraft, which is Minden, and then the registration D-AIKA. Um, and then here's the bottom side and then the top and then the other side uh, and then here's the back uh, plane climbing, Gemini has features and then this is a Lufthansa officially licensed product and then 2013 release and then um, I really like how since you know since you know Gemini just put the uh, name and registration of the plane on the box it looks, it's, it looks really nice um, and I really love the Lufthansa older colors, they look awesome. And then uh, here's the inside of the box, some info on the AV-30, possibly if you want to read that. And then some info on the aircraft itself, uh, right there. And this was the first AV-30 delivered to Lufthansa, and it was delivered in 2004. Uh, there's the window to see the aircraft, and that concludes the box. Um, I really like the look of it, like I said, I love the uh, old Lufthansa livery colors, it looks really nice. Um, so now, I'll go ahead and show you guys the model. Alright guys, here is the model itself. So as always, we'll start with the nose section. Uh, this model was released in 2013. Uh, so it does feature the old A330 mold, but I really like this mold better than the newer one. Um, I'll compare the mold molds later, just to do a quick comparison later on. Um, so yeah, we started with the nose. Like I said, we have the cockpit windows here. Um, for some reason, all these European airlines, they do like this mask thing around the cockpit windows. It looks really cool. Interesting. I don't know why they do it, but yeah, as you can see, there's a little mask type thing around the cockpit windows. Uh, we've got the Lufthansa crane right there, the Star Alliance logo, the L1 and L2 doors, um, the Lufthansa titles, and then Airbus 83-300, and then the name of the plane, which is Minden. Uh, Minden is a, it's a small town or village in Germany, um, and Lufthansa names, I think, all of their planes after German cities and towns, um, which is really nice, just like Turkish Airlines does. Um, and then on the nose gear door, we have KA, which is the last two letters of the registration. The landing gear, nose gear, uh, landing gear do roll, by the way. Um, and then moving on down, we have the to the wings, we have the inboard landing lights there. Uh, and then just moving right here, we have the Rolls Royce Trent 772B 60 engines, which are nicely detailed. You can see the fan, the reverse thrust detail. Um, the fan blades, if you can see them inside, right there, nice. Um, and then, you know, nothing much on the wings. You just have the nice, you know, flaps, spoilers, all the control surface detail. We have the wing tip there, and then the navigation light there. Uh, and we have the, obviously there's no overwing exits, since A330s don't have that. Um, we have the, another exit door here. Uh, the final, the aft door back here, and then Lufthansa.com, which is their website, and then the, the registration D-AIKA or Delta um, Alpha India Kilo Alpha. We've got the Lufthansa tail uh, with the crane and KA back here, and then there's a little hump like dish thing right there, but it's just 2D, it's not like 3D, it's just painted on there. We've got a beacon light and then another dish satcom right there. Um, so yeah, and then there's the horizontal stabilizers here, and then the APU, um, which is uh, this little silver thing there. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's move ahead, move on to the other side. Uh, same, basically, uh, you, you just only have the cargo doors, obviously, with the front main cargo door right there, right, and then the uh, two aft cargo doors. And they're really nicely applied, you can see them really clearly, which I really like. I really like how all the decals are put on there. I don't know why my hands are shaking, which is weird. I move to the underside of the model. You got the uh, nose gear doors, if you can see them there. Uh, moving down, some nicer detail. I think it's with lights or something. Uh, right there. Gemini logo, stand hole, 
the landing gear they don't pivot but they do roll which is nice we have the nice detail of the landing gear doors which is awesome and then underside of the wings and then yeah so that's basically it for the model solid 10 out of 10 uh, even though it doesn't have uh, antennas or anything it's definitely uh, better than what you would expect from a model in 2013 um, and then here's the newer Gemini 330 mold as you can see it features antennas rolling gear uh, but the thing I don't like about it is that if you look at this the model kind of looks like it's pushing all of its weight down on this on the landing gear whereas on this model it's just evenly balanced as you can see another thing is that the engines are really wobbly like look at that look how easily I can move these around they can break really easily whereas on the older mold you can see it's so stiff really rigid and stuck onto the wings uh, very sturdy which is amazing which is good um, and then that's probably like the only thing other than that this mold is a lot more detailed um, than this one since it's got antennas um, but like obviously the look of it doesn't look that good especially like I said it looks like all the weights being shifted onto the gear main gear um, whereas this one looks more balanced, which is great. It looks much better, I guess. Um, so yeah, um, really love this model, but definitely recommend it if you guys can find it. Um, I definitely want to get some more Lufthansa models. Definitely, definitely going to try to get the new 747-8 that Gemini is releasing this month. Uh, but yeah, I really love this model. Solid 10 out of 10. Definitely recommend it to you guys if you can find it. Do pick it up if you want to of course um but that is going to conclude it for this review hope you all enjoyed please give this video a like uh subscribe if you're new and that's it guys thank you so much for watching once again and i'll catch you next time goodbye